Hello everybody, I'm Boga here, back with you guys for an, and another video. Now, this is a moment, and that tonight, it's a night, that the U.S. Women's National Team will be playing their final international friendly match before heading to Rio, which we like to call the Olympic Sandoff match. So, <clears throat> as you guys probably know, of that they'll be playing that the U.S. Women's National Team playing the final game on home soil and it will be in Kansas City at Children's Mercy Park so if you guys are in Kansas City I hope you guys are getting ready to arrive there here because you could witness the moment and like I told you guys in my last video that of course we want this whole stadium to be filled <clears throat> like no matter what Sorry, I'm sweating, so bear with me here. So, if you guys aren't making it to the game, don't worry about it. it um, it'll be at 8.55. Recently, it was like 9 o'clock, but they like change it to 8.55. It'll be at 8.55 <clears throat> Eastern Time. And, of course, you can watch it on ESPN. And, of course, Glenn Davis and Julie Fowley and, of course, Monica Gonzalez will have the call for you uh, if you guys don't make it to the game. So, this will be the second time that the U.S. Women's National Team will be playing against Costa Rica. Now, remember that the U.S. Women's National Team played a, against Costa Rica in the first game of the group stage in Cotton Calf Women's Qualifying in, back in fe February. And so, here are five things that you might know about of Costa Rica. Here's one. We meet again. And of course, I just said that had recently. <clears throat> hey, of course, the U.S. has faced Costa Rica many times. Many times. Than any other continent cap besides Canada and Mexico. And so far, they have been unbeaten against the Los against a Costa Rica 13 straight wins so far all time <clears throat> and of course USA won it all 5 nothing on the goal for Alex Morgan who scored two goals one of them happens to be the fastest goal in CONCACAF women's qualifying history 12 seconds yes um, also Carly Lloyd who scored another on that penalty kick and of course you got Crystal Dunn and of course Crystal Press with a nice savvy little touch touch off to the back heel and with the goal so <clears throat> um, so far in these previous two matches is during the victory tour here with the US Women's National Team outscoring in Costa Rica 15 to 2 it was August 16th USA won it 8 to 8 to 0 in Pittsburgh and then in the second game in Chattanooga Tennessee at Finley Stadium USA win it 7 to 2 so, so and trust me history has been made for Costa Rica scoring those two goals there here's number two club teammates and country folks now Costa Rica's captain of course Sir Shirley Cruz has been played in France with Perrin St. Germain and of course it is a former teammate hey, with Lindsay Aran and Tobin Heath while of course forward her Raquel Rodriguez who played for Sky Blue FC of New Jersey in the NWSL who helped Penn State to an NCAA title oh, and of course won the Herman Trophy as a college soccer top player and of course like I said she plays for Sky Blue FC alongside with Kelly O'Hara so here's number three <clears throat> sorry guys I'm sweating it's hot outside so just bear with me here so as you guys probably know that Costa Rica well oh well, sorry about that number three I forgot to say number three. Number three is a growing program. So Costa Rica had participated in the first FIFA Women's World Cup in 2015 after becoming the runner-ups in the 2014 CONCACAF Women's Championship beyond the United States. That was a 6-0 score 
by the way, in Philadelphia. So, despite not qualifying for the Olympics, you can tell that the progress has been made for Costa Rica in the women's game is so evident. So, in the World Cup, Costa Rica had a, a very competitive tournament. It was tying with two games. It was 1-1 one, one draw against Spain, and of course a 2-2 two, two draw against South Korea. And of course they lost to Brazil 1-0. So, I, so, you can tell that they were out of the tournament and very, very badly. <clears throat> hey, so, here's the third one. Captain Cruz. Who's, Costa Rica star performer is midfielder Shirley Cruz, like I said before, who played for PSG alongside with Hinzi, Lindsay Oran and Tobin Heath. <clears throat> she is the most capped player in the Costa Rica women's national team so far with 72 caps and so far scoring 24 goals. Well, well, then, of course, you can tell of that she has signed with Olymp how do you pronounce it like Olympic Olympic Linus yes, I'm sorry I'm just trying to butcher out these team names from other countries from European countries yes. and that was back in 2006 by the way becoming the second Costa Rica women's football player to play in elite football just outside of the country hey and of course she won like multiple title titles with lion and of course she then signed with PSG in 2012 and then since then <clears throat> she had made 94 appearances for the club and of course scoring with 23 goals so you can tell that this past past season PSG has finished second place in the division one feminine and made it to the semifinal in the UEFA Women's Championship League. And of course, number five, San Pura Vida. How about this? Yes, so Costa Rica is known for its tropical climate, great food, and of course, here's the infamous this phrase, Vida Vida, which translated to pure life or good life. It reflects on the Costa Rica way of life and it softens the exchange in between the people in the street. So you can tell <clears throat> oh, that Costa Rica have been made some progress lately since after the 2015 Women's World Cup up there. So it's very good for Costa Rica there too. So I might have to do like a live stream later on just to let you guys know because I'm going to be pulling it up on my computer just to let you guys know about that. So, like I say, the U.S. Women's National Team will be playing their final international match in Kansas City. That will be coming up. Uh, over an hour by now so this would be good 8.55 is the time so guys get ready and Kansas City I hope you guys get ready because this is the moment that we've been all been waiting for final game for the US Women's National Team before they headed off to Rio and of course they're on the quest for the fourth straight gold medal and of course becoming the first country to ever win back to back the World Cup and then the Olympic gold medal. We can do this. All right, that will do it for us. I will do a live stream coming up sooner. If not, that's okay. Hey, but anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. And of course, we'll be talking about, about the group stages and of course the predictions is for Rio 2016. Because don't forget folks, August, third mark your calendars today all right see you guys next time bye bye